very much. Please sit down, please. Um, I hate to interrupt a, a meeting, uh, uh, especially when you're eating. And my, you know, my job as governor, just to be clear, is um, is made so much better when I get to come to an event where there's food. <laughs> and you can see I always partake. So uh, thank you for very much, Reverend, for the introduction. I am so deeply honored to be here for your birthday. And with all due respect to the organizers and the PBS, you've done an amazing job. But I have to admit that even though Commissioner Sims, and I believe me, I follow everything she tells me, but even though Commissioner Sims gives you guys the credit for me being here, trust me, I am here because you are turning 103 and I want to learn the secrets of the Fountain of Youth. So I'm on your side. I want you, you're going to whisper them to me when I come back and sit down, right? Okay. So I, I, um, I also want to say uh, to everybody here that um, you all are represented so incredibly well by the, the people that you've elected to public office. Commissioner Sims is terrific. She is somebody that is known to everybody far and wide as somebody who fights for her constituents, who stands up for you, especially for senior citizens. And I just, I'm so grateful for your leadership. Thank you, Commissioner. And, and Representative Bob Rita, who's sitting next to her, yep, is a terrific representative down Springfield. We just got so much done in a short period of time, and he was truly one of the leaders that made it all happen. And I'm just so grateful. And uh, I, I think it's appropriate for me to say, especially uh, with two reverends, oh, three, Reverend Dr. Wilson, too, uh, uh, to say God is good. Yes. All the time. All the time. And I, I'm lucky to be here. And I just want to say that um, Reverend Jordan, yeah, I know you've dedicated your life to serving God. I heard as Commissioner Sims walked by you, you offering her blessings. I hope by the time I'm done, you'll offer me <laughs> blessings too. Um, but really, having served for decades and touching so many lives, and I know you touch people's lives in this room too, that it's an honor for me as governor to be here with you. Um, you took care of so many people over the course of your life. You, you've, you've stood up for senior citizens. You've prayed for them. You've been with them. You've You've helped people thrive, and I know that during your life you've served as a legal assistant, and you've been in the judicial system before, that you've served as a pastor, um, and that truly you've brought your selflessness to, to, to everything that you do. And that all of us should take example from you. Um, Reverend Elizabeth Jordan is one of the great examples that we should all follow. And I just want to say, on behalf of the state of Illinois, thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done during the course of your life. And you keep it up. Somebody said 120 years, let's keep going. Now, one of the great honors uh, of being governor is that um, we, on behalf of the state of Illinois, can issue a proclamation. And so I have the great honor today of issuing this proclamation on your behalf, declaring today as Reverend Elizabeth Jordan Day in the state of Illinois. So that means that you get to run the entire state for a day. Um, um, but uh, I, I do want to read just a little bit from the proclamation, if I may. Whereas Reverend Elizabeth Jordan received her early education at Lincoln High School in Montgomery, Alabama. She met Samuel Jordan at the age of 19 in Alabama and was united in holy matrimony. They had one son, Deloyd Allen, who fathered a daughter, Dolores. And Reverend Jordan has one niece, Gloria Jean Haywood, in Huntsville, Alabama. And whereas two of her favorite scriptures are Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And Psalms 27, the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? 
And whereas Elizabeth Jordan lived alone and took care of herself until she was 98 years old, she has a goddaughter, Rochelle Lilly, who assisted her for 15 years. Yeah, everybody. Therefore, I, as governor of the state of Illinois, do hereby recognize Reverend Elizabeth Jordan for her tremendous impact on her community and the lives that she has touched. The wisdom she has gained and imparted unto others will be cherished for many years to come. Thank you. Thank you for serving all of us. And thank you for everything that you do for the state of Illinois. Happy birthday. Thank you, Governor.